Hi, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com and today we're going to look at how to use the zoom in and zoom out function in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop CS5. If you don't already have a image open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut Control and press the letter O to open an existing file from your hard drive choose this one right here and we'll open that up. Now there are several different ways we can zoom in and out. One of my favorite ways on a win Windows computer is by holding down control on the keyboard and pressing the plus key to zoom in or by holding down control and pressing the minus key to zoom out. You will see down here in the bottom corner there is a percentage which changes as I zoom in and out. This is the percent that we are zoomed in. Now this is editable and I can go ahead and type in 100 and press enter and it will zoom into 100%. I'll zoom that back out. There's also something in the tools window which we can find by going to window tools and it's right at the bottom here on the right hand side and this is the zoom tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter Z. If I'm using another tool and I wanted to use the zoom tool simply by hitting the letter Z on my keyboard I will be taken to that tool. By default it's either set to zoom in or zoom out and we can change that by clicking on either the zoom in or zoom out magnifying glasses up here in the menu. And quite evidently when I click it will zoom in on a particular area or I can click the zoom out and now every time I click we will zoom out. There's also one other way I'd like to share with you and that's by using uh, the navigator window and we can find that by going to window navigator to up open the navigator window and over here we can see a bar that we can slide across here which lets us zoom in and out. We can also click on the mountains over here, the large ones to zoom in or the small ones to zoom out. We can of course also edit the number in this box right here just like we could at the bottom of the screen. Using the navigator window you can also see that in our image here it creates a red box and we can click on that to drag around and view different parts of our image. So there's a quick overview of how to zoom in and zoom out in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.